What are we doing, Rachel? Making a fire. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a little questionable, maybe a little controversial. I'm not really sure how it's gonna go quite yet. So for those of you who don't know, there is a new movie out called Bird Box. I'm sure you guys have heard all about this by now. A movie starring Sandra Bullock. It's essentially the blind version of A Quiet Place, if you've ever seen that movie. It's become kind of a viral sensation because there's this thing called the Bird Box Challenge going around, which is basically where people blindfold themselves and go out into the world and do really stupid stuff. So basically it's been all over the news. People are saying it's like the most dangerous thing ever. Don't do it. Netflix has specifically warned people not to do it. They're the people who put out the movie, so they're saying not to do it. And so, you know, obviously because I like to look out for my own safety, I thought we should definitely do this. So we're currently in the middle of the woods, trekking to a remote location, and I've got a bandana on my head, which I'm going to use the blindfold myself. And you might wonder, why are we going out in the woods? Well, if you don't know anything about the movie, the movie takes place in the middle of the woods. Sandra Bullock is the main character, and she is the victim of this thing that has essentially taken over the world. It's a post-apocalyptic movie. It's based on a book. She goes out into the woods, and the only way she can keep herself safe from this thing is if she blindfolds herself and the people she loves. So that's what we're doing today. We're going out in nature and essentially doing a very similar thing, except most people have been doing this indoors or in the safety of their own home. That's not commitment. That's not what we're here for. If I'm gonna do this challenge, I'm gonna do it right. So we're going out into literally the middle of the woods to film this adventure. There's a good chance we might die out here. <laughs> Worth it. Anyway, this is my best friend, Rachel. She's going to be helping me not die today, hopefully. She's got our camping bag up there bunch of wood. I don't really know where we're going. Rachel knows where we're going. We're in a sump right now. I've never even heard of a sump, but this is bound to be very, very interesting. So stay tuned. The water rose like over the, the sand part where like the fire pit was. It totally like drowned it out. We've made it to the sump. As you can see, it's actually quite a lovely view. Rachel here is a Girl Scout, formerly, and also has worked with fire before. So she is a pro in this endeavor. I, on the other hand, am definitely not. So she is mainly here to supervise as I fail miserably at setting up a campsite, which I've never done before. This is actually my first time, I guess, camping. Um, I've never really camped before. I went to a summer camp for a couple years, but we didn't really do like hardcore camping at that camp. So this is really my first like kind of outdoorsy experience. It also rained earlier today. So if you can see the water is quite high up, there was sand pretty much all of there, but now it has risen to match the tide. And we're basically kind of in the middle of like a swamp right now. It's very wet. Everything on the ground is wet. We were gonna start a fire. So we brought some firewood with us because we didn't want to risk not being able to start a fire for this video because Let's face it, it wouldn't be the bird box challenge if we weren't lighting a fire. So I think this is a good place to set up. Let's get started. So the first step is to put on our blindfold, which I have worn here because I didn't want to forget it. And here we go. This is already going to be extremely disorienting. You got this. I am strong and independent, just like Sandra Bullock. All right, I literally cannot see a thing. This is gonna go really, really well. So as you can see, um, there's a little bit of an incline. The first thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my canteen, which is in my backpack if I can find it. Hold on. Girl's gotta have her drink, right? I'm taking this and I'm going to fill this up with water at the bottom of this lake. Rachel's gonna keep me from dying, hopefully. Oh, so here God. we go. Task oh, number God. one is to fill the water canteen. If you fall, I like to think that I'd help you, but I might laugh. Uh, you're there, you're there. Okay, you're th okay, hands going out. Where's the log? Lower. I think I can hop over this, let me see. <laughs> oh God, good thing, I don't have a, good thing I don't have a penis. Okay, oh boy, here we go. All right, one more step. And stop. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. So now we are unscrewing the canteen and we are filling it up with disgusting bog water. Here we go. Am I doing it now, Mr. Krabs? Yes. Do I have to dip it more? Yes. Okay. Which means I have to get closer. I'm probably gonna get wet. I hear it. I hear it filling. That's a good sign. Mom, my hands are getting wet. Oh, oh, that's cold. Okay. I think I got some in there. That sounds like water's in there. Cool. All right. Um, since this is a giant, giant flask, I don't think we're gonna be able to fill the entire thing, but at least we got some in there. So task number one, I don't know where you are, but it's complete. So let's move on to task number two. This is the most cautious I've ever been in my life. Oh, I feel you. She's, she's here. Oh, oh, okay. Doing this uphill is significantly harder than doing it downhill. Ooh, my nuts. Am I done? Am I up? Yes. Am I done? What is that? That is a tree. Wow, nature is amazing. All right, so the next step is to set up camp because naturally, if you're running from a supernatural force, you have to be ready to rest and get energy to keep running from it. So we've brought a sleeping bag, which I am going to set up on the ground. Since it rained, it's probably gonna get really, really nasty, but luckily I only use this maybe once in every fortnight. So it's fine. It's fine and I will deal with the laundry consequences later. I think I found it pretty easily. What is that? 
That is a piece of wood. Why is it in the sleeping bag? So we gotta find a flat area to set it up now. I don't know why I keep going like this thinking I'll help, it'll help. Why can't I untie this? Okay, let's open. Come on, let me sleep, please. Okay, one. Okay, got it untied. So now we gotta unravel it. Where's the top? Where is the corner? Where's anything? Where are we? <laughs> I'm a professional, okay. And then we gotta get in it, so here we go. Oh man, this is a big All right. sack. All right, we did it. I'm in the sleeping bag, and uh, that is accomplishment number two. So now we move on to accomplishment number three, which is setting up a campfire. And this is where things are about to hit the fan. Man. Careful, there is a stick. Not a stick! <laughs> Take a You're good. All right. What I need to do is I've got all this stuff laid out. We brought wood because it rained. We were afraid it wasn't going to be able to catch fire. So we decided to bring our own dry logs from home. We also have some... Uh, what are they called? Lighting blocks? What are they called? Fire starter. We brought some fire starter because even though Rachel is a Girl Scout and has experience in this, I do not. I am afraid of fire. We've got a bowl of water in case something, God forbid, goes wrong. We've got leaves somewhere. Take one step forward. One step forward. Am I going to run to a tree? No. Aha, ha, ha, ha. I got it. All right, where am I going now? All right, take a step forward. Here. Do I just, just put them on the ground? Um, no, I put the big one down first. The big boy. Is that substantial? Oh my god. No. I'm basically Bear yeah. Grylls. Uh, no, don't scatter it. Oh. You want to put it onto the where you're making the fire. Where that? <laughs> Should I just throw the bag away? Um, I will take it from you. Thank you, Beth. Do you Thank ever you. feel like a plastic bag? Yes. Right now. You're right there. I'm right there? Lower. Lower. Colder. Colder. Warmer. We probably should have opened it before. Oh god, I'm nervous. Why are they fuzzy? Should they be fuzzy? Yes. Shoving it into the crevices. This is fine? It's fine enough. As fine as it's gonna get without a fire pit. Alright, so we're good. Yes. Mission accomplished. I mean, you want to put some t um, newspapers in there if this fails? Where's I mean, the newspaper? Um, you brought newspaper? Yeah, I brought newspaper. People don't have newspaper in the wild. Just rip some like pages off and crumple them and sh <laughs> shove them in the holes. All right, so task number four is to light the fire. This is where it starts getting really, really bad. Well, it's been nice knowing everybody. Um, if I die on camera, at least you were here to witness it. And at least I'll go down a hero of memes. One, two, three. Did it work? Is it working? Am I doing anything? Almost. Hold, keep holding it there. Oh god. I smell something. What's happening? Oh, I, I smell it. Yes. It's going. Where, yes. Whatever's happening, it's cooking. <gasps> okay, it's back up, back working? up, back up. Is it working? Did we do it? Yes. Yes! I am a caveman! I have made fire. I'm getting queasy. Ooh. Okay. All right, so task number four is done. So the last task we have is to make s'mores. That is task number five. So we have all the s'mores material here somewhere. Do you have a stick for me? Something is over here. That is graham crackers. Anything for survival. Where am I putting this marshmallow? At the end. Oh, I think I definitely uh, broke it. You Stay. are in the fire. Am I good? Just leave it here? Yeah. Marshmallowy goodness. Do I need to get closer? I feel like I'm not touching it. Oh. Your marshmallow's on fire. How's that? How's that look? It's good, your marshmallow's on fire. Oh, should I blow it out? Yeah, probably. This is going longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh god, I'm so nervous. All right. All right. So now what do I do? You got to open up your graham crackers. That's that is not your okay. graham crackers. Is this graham crackers? Yes. Are you a graham cracker? I don't know what I am. None of us will after this video. It feels pretty long, so I'm gonna break it in half. Yes. Okay, where's the chocolate? So here's the deal with the chocolate. Uh, for some reason, they didn't have milk chocolate at Target, so I had to get dark chocolate. I hope it still will taste equally as good. I'm putting it on the cracker, and then I'm feeling for the marshmallow. I think I found it. Okay. You found it. I found it. I found it, all right. The other graham cracker. Putting it on top, and I'm mushing it, and I'm eating it. Do I look cute? Where are you? I'm over here. <laughs> Hi. Where did you come from? Well, basically, I think I nailed this challenge is what I'm getting at. The fire's still going. The fire is roaring. We got s'mores. I got water in a canteen. I set up a sleeping bag. How does that feel, Netflix? Take that. Take that and take it to the bank, because I am basically an adventurer. I am not naked or afraid. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys. I've been blindfolded for a very long time. I really want to get this blindfold off my eyes. I really want to eat the rest of these s'mores too. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like below. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hitting the little bell icon next to it to get the first notice of when my videos go up. I try to upload at least once a week. If you have been a subscriber of mine for some time now, hello, welcome back, how are you? I'm fortunate that you didn't get to see me die today to the flames. Maybe someday, but today's not that day. 2019 just started, I'm not ready to go just yet. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. We're gonna clean up here and head back and I will hopefully see you on my next video. If you haven't seen my New Year's vlog from earlier last week, make sure you check that out, hitting the eye icon in the top right corner. That one's really funny, so make sure you go check that out and I will see you guys next time.